Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Natalie Wilson. So the big question tonight, where to test and how to test Fox 8's Madison Forsey talked to health experts to get those answers. Yeah, I was told the best test is the one that you can get your hands on no matter what the situation is to break down further. Here's a good guideline to follow. When you get a test, um, you're helping to stop the spread. It also means people are waiting hours in testing lines across the triad for a lot of different reasons. Exposed at work um, by my coworker and also by a friend that I skate with. We're just making sure that uh, we take a COVID test because we've been experiencing symptoms. But do you really need to be in these lines for a PCR test if you have the option of an at home one? Some people, if you're symptomatic, you get an antigen test and that's positive. That's as far as you need to take it. Other places or other things that are if you're symptomatic and your antigen test or rapid test is negative, then we do recommend that it's backed up by a PCR. You don't need to head right to a testing site if you have an at home test. You do need to make sure you follow the directions carefully. It is best with the at home test if you're doing a wait 24 hours between tests and do at least two tests on two different days. Um, and that would be a little more accurate picture using the self test. If you're checking to see if you're COVID free before or after a gathering, an at home test is a better option. If you're symptomatic and you know, you know you're exposed and symptomatic, you should be tested, um, not just run out because I want to get a test because as you can see, there's it's very limited. Any test is better than no test. And if you can't find a test or an appointment, stay home. People running the testing sites are asking that you only make one appointment and that you show up. We've heard several stories of people making several appointments in different locations and not showing up. If you are one of these people, make sure to cancel that additional appointment so someone else can make one. Back to you guys.